San Rafael Wilderness. <coughs> so we're over here at Naira. We're proposing to go all the way up to Manzana Schoolhouse, maybe camp there tonight. And then past Mormon, Abel, Sycamore, all the way to South Fork, our favorite backcountry ranger station. And then maybe we'll come back on Hurricane Deck, which has been cleared, it's been clipped, and through back to Naira. So that's it, we're not sure how long it'll take. As little as three, as many as five days, depending on... Yeah, yeah. Depending on how easy it is to follow the trail, whatever trail there might be, along the Siskbok River. Because this section in here is pretty difficult, as we recall. So, let's see how it goes. Well, it's Monday, February 10th, 2020, and we just started our backpack around the Siskbok River. And we're doing the easy part right now. We're walking on the road back from Naira, Naira campground. Very good. Where we'll finish the loop. Yeah, and we won't run into any rattlesnakes today. Yeah, we'll They're be... all sleeping, hibernating. And apparently the poison oak is non-existent at the moment. So we just have to follow the trail along the Sisquatch, whatever it means. Um, bushwhacking. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Sure she didn't believe me, the trail's this way. Oh, there's a lot of water here. Yeah. Nice to be out here again. Yeah, There's Hurricane Deck in the background up there oh, yeah. and a little bit windy here but it's undoubtedly more windy up there nice hurricane yeah but when we come back from south fort to Nara, we may well come along the top hurricane deck it was really nice last time we were up there it's been cleared clipped so it was easy going and today well it's just a beautiful day I guess this is why we live in Southern California. It's awesome. Uh, I want to be here again. There's nobody here. Nobody here. Well, there was one other car at the trail. Right. Just day hiking. No, no, this trail has not been narrow. Oh. Yeah, so we don't know. I mean, probably day hiking or just going to Manzana and then back. There's not many people try and follow the Sisquok River. <laughs> just, the, just the trail road camp. Very nice. Potrero. Yeah, very nice. Got water, picnic table, firing, and not that we need that. But well, it says Potrero here. Yeah, that sign says Potrero. This is cold water campground. Oh yeah. Hmm. And this is Montana Creek. Montana. Little apples. Yeah, this is the uh, habitat for the Arroyo uh, Toad. Uh -huh. well, this trail has a lot of river crossings. And this is only the Manzana River yet. <laughs> We're not even at the Sisquak. So far we've been able to boulder hop them all. But Sisquak, we might have to start wading them. We'll see. Well, at the moment, I think at least as far as Manzana Schoolhouse. This is a really nice trail, easy to follow. Looks like well maintained. And of course, it's a beautiful day, which helps. Nice temperature for hiking. Yeah, oh, nice little meadow here in the San Raf. Oh, 
There you go, shorty. I better catch up. <laughs> Very peaceful here. No fishing. Ah, no fish, huh? Vegetarian dinner tonight. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Long steps. Long step for shortcut. Uh, ooh, ooh. Is that moving? No. No, okay. Oh, well, we're leaving the San Raf wilderness. Oh. Oh. So where are we going? Dick Smith? No, Dick Smith is the other way. Yeah. Maybe it's just not wilderness. Not wilderness anymore. Looks like wilderness still. Huh. Yeah, you first. Private land, stay on trail. Davis, 1878. Well, okay. Oh, it's really nice in here. Lots of tricky stream crossings. But so far we've been able to rock hop all of them. Yeah, oh, super trail. Just one river crossing after another there. Yeah, we're still walking through this private property. But nobody else is out here. Oh, we saw one guy at Coldwater Camp. Um, but that's it. Oh, I didn't see any group. Oh, huh. Looks like 2.5 miles to Manzana Schoolhouse. Uh -huh. Another hour or so. Oh, wow. Must be what, 1 o'clock now? Quarter to 2. Or quarter to 1 30. Okay. 1.27. Very good. So many stream crossings. So we haven't had to take our shoes off. <laughs> and we haven't fallen in yet either. Santa Barbara County Historic Landmark Number 8 Dabney Cabin, 1913 Oh, long gone Quite sitting here Early settlement, that's where they have the Manzanar Schoolhouse Manzanar Schoolhouse Oh, I must be less than that now Only one and a half miles to the schoolhouse now Still nobody out here. Yeah. We're still traversing private property and down below us on the gate a rustic rusty sign said rattlesnake preserve. Oh, how about that? Don't recall that. Hey Patsy, this way. This way. Yeah, you're trespassing onto the private property. Uh, unless I'm there to keep her straight, she doesn't know where she's going. <laughs> Just made another stream crossing, one of many. And the trail, still very nice. Must be about a mile from the schoolhouse now. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. Hello. What are you doing? Hey, no kisses. What are you doing? I'm being surrounded. I'm, I'm being attacked on both sides. Hello. Oh, uh, uh oh. There's one coming behind me now. What is he doing, mate? Manzana Schoolhouse Camp. No open fires and pack out your refuse. 
I don't see anything. Oh, that's a fallen, dilapidated picnic table. And then a schoolhouse, a sawmill constructed in the early 1890s, supplied by logs from the adjacent pine timber, manufactured the lumber that we used to construct the schoolhouse. In 1900, about 100 people, including adults and children, lived in this area. Top enrollment at the school was approximately 25 students. And the schoolhouse is Santa Barbara County, historic landmark number two. Manzanar School, 1895. Here's the inside of the schoolhouse. Not changed since last time we were here, 13 years ago. So we've got the American Lord flag. Out. Frosty, the schoolhouse first teacher. I got paid $50 a month for teaching and paid 14 a month for room and board. I shared bed at that with at least one or two children. Well, that wouldn't be allowed these days. <laughs> Yeah, last entry was January 31st. So today, February 10th, Shorty signing us in. So mm -hmm. we're official. We're officially here. Huh. Yeah, here we go. Water Canyon, four miles. I don't know if we'll make it today. It's already 3.20. We'll see yeah, how huh. far we get. Trail junction to the hurricane deck. We don't want to go that way. We want to go along the Sisquack. We want to take this there. 3.30 in the afternoon and it's still a very pleasant day. We're walking a bit above the Sisquoc on the south side. And kind of in the valley here. Big mountain over there. Here's Shorty. Hola. Amiga. Looking down into the Sisquak River Valley. Well, you can hear the water flowing. I think this one will be wading when we get down there. It might be Sisquak. And the signs of birds. Bird scat anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Well, it's getting later in the day now. The shadows are lengthening. No, I don't remember it at all either. It's getting colder too. It's getting colder. Oh, it looks as though we're going to descend into the canyon again. <laughs> we still haven't got our feet wet. Nice time of day. Nice light. There comes Shorty behind me. Getting dark already, but we got camp set up and water, of course, is close by. One thing we don't have to worry about on this particular backpack. Not a desert. Yeah, it's nice to have unlimited water. <laughs> and we're filtering it.
Well, it's now Tuesday, <coughs> the 11th of February, and we're walking alongside the Sisquat River. I say we, shorty's ahead of me somewhere. And unlike yesterday on the Manzana River, where we could rock hop, <coughs> today on the Sisquat River we got to wade. And oh god, the water is really cold. So my toes are freezing. And Shortcut and I have been using different systems as a test. She's using seal skin, neoprene socks, and just wading across with those on with the shoes and uh, I'm switching to flip-flops <coughs> crossing and then drying my feet and putting my shoes back on because her system's a lot faster and she claims to be staying a lot warmer than me because my toes are numb oh god Now here's Shortcut, she's just going to wade across with her neoprene seal skin socks. Kind of slippy. Slop, slop, slop. I managed to rock hop this section. Well, here's an unlabeled camp between Water Canyon Camp and Mormon Camp. And uh, yeah. Even though it's not an official camp, at least it's not labelled on the map as such. It's got a nice fire grate. It's got antler decorations on the tree to hang your stuff. Very nice. The only thing is it's in the shade and it's still very cold. Let's see. It's a very nice spot there. Looking down towards the Sisquak. Yeah, super day. Mormon camp. Oh, yeah, it's pretty nice. They have a kindling. Kindling. And then an elevated cooker and a low down cooker. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had to uh, wade through the first three Sisquak stream crossings. But subsequent to that, I've managed to rock hop a bit precariously sometimes, but I made it. Yeah, you've done good, bud. Whew. It's kind of sketchy. Well, there we go. Managed to get over that stream by rock hopping. And where are we going here? Yeah. Ooh, it's all frosty still. Whew. Shorty's method's still faster. Oh, it's just gone nine o'clock and it's really warmed up here. It's very nice. All blue skies. My toes aren't frozen anymore. I've been able to rock hop. But if I gotta get in that water again, I'm sure my toes will freeze. Well, here's another unofficial camp. And over there is the ruins of a house. So Patsy said there was supposed to be a grave and an abandoned house here. Probably around here, the grave. But don't see one. Not a sign of previous habitation there. Yeah, very nice well, spot. Good morning everybody. It's about 9.30, Tuesday the 11th of February. And we're freezing. No, it's nice. Oh, the shade is cold. Oh, it's not bad. The sun is nice. you got a sticker on your pants. Yeah, shoot. Sticker. Oh. Huh? Oh, thank you. Sticker. Sticker. Yeah, lots of these stickers. Ah, lots. Half a dozen. Yeah, very nice in here. Of course, we haven't seen anybody since uh, yesterday around lunchtime. 
Although we did smell some smoke and we found a, a still burning fire in a fire ring with nobody around. So we put that fire out. Yeah, the coals uh, were red hot and the wind was blowing. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh. People are so stupid. But look at the scene around here. It's great. Let's see, up in the mountains there. Yeah, Southern California backcountry. Perfect weather. Well, good thing you had your neoprene yeah. socks on. Oh. Oh, they come in handy. Oh. You weren't supposed to fall in there. Okay. Descending towards the Sisquak River again. Well, it's a really beautiful day now. It's fabulous. Wonderful to be here. Yeah. Looking into the Sisquak River Valley. Yeah, it's a real wilderness. Much more of a wilderness than the PCT or well, even the ABT. Find way above the Sisquak River. So shouldn't be having to cross it in the very near future. Last one I was able to rock hop. One before. I had to switch to flip-flops but sure she just keeps plowing through in her neoprene seal skin socks <laughs> testing for Scotland so how do you like those neoprenes? yeah they're good I don't know how dry my feet are probably all sweaty yet. and gross but, yeah. Um, but no yeah. hot spots? no not yet no because that was one of our concerns was that you might get hot spots because they're a lot thicker than regular socks, yeah, so your feet are a bit squished. Yeah. But I think they'll work in Scotland. Yeah, well maybe I'll have to take my pair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Lead on then. Oh. <laughs> Tired though. Yeah, it's only, <laughs> it's only about 10.30. <laughs> there she goes. Where she goes, I must follow. I stretch a nice easy trail here. We're still up high. No immediate river crossings. Beautiful day, clear trail. Huh, what could be better? Well, we passed the location of Miller Canyon Base Camp. I never did see it. So now we're heading on to Abel. Mm -hmm. No picnic tables. No, no picnic tables. Mm. Very nice hiking though. Maybe it'll be time for lunch when we get to Abel. Ooh, yeah. Oh well, it's mm -hmm. mismarked on the map. Here's Miller Canyon Base Camp. And uh, there's a paddock over there. Don't see any picnic tables. Pleasant spot there. Uh, shortcuts making it look easy. <laughs> I should be so lucky. Well, this trail is well marked with ribbons and ducks. So we haven't really lost it yet. <laughs> yet. Well, there's a duck on the left up ahead. Oh, yeah. Where do we go? Uh oh, choices. <coughs> Well, we had a little trouble finding the trail there, after my saying it was so easy to follow. But, Shorty found us the way. Still a beautiful day. Still on track! Let's see. Uh, we don't have to wade this river. It's 11.35 and we've reached Abel Camp and probably time for lunch. We've even got kind of a seat here. Well, it's still shabby. well flagged and ducked and I'll 
we're going to get across here. Well, here's what's left of Cliff Campground. <laughs> yeah, it's going back to the wilderness. Got the grill. Not much left of what was once the picnic table. And the trail's supposed to be easy from here on to South Fork. Got nine miles to go. Hmm. See if we can make it. Nice sandy beach here. We lost the trail though. <laughs> After saying how easy it was to follow. Typical. After climbing that big hill, now we gotta go back down again. <laughs> I guess we missed the big oxbow bend in the river, so it wasn't all bad. Well, we found the trail again, and it's just gone two o'clock. We did pretty well. Another five minutes, another stream crossing. This one's easily off. You yeah, make That's it look easy. Quality. We've reached Sycamore Camp almost, a quarter mile from here, mm. and then five miles to South Fork. Oh, God. I think we can make it. Oh. <sighs> well, we're on a nice balcony trail here. Mm. For the moment, yeah. It's just gone three o'clock. Wait, wait, no, two o'clock. 2.30 maybe <clears throat> and it's been still a beautiful day six to go <laughs> oh a nice panorama this is Quack River The way we're going, lead on shortcut. <laughs> well, this trail's not very well flagged and ducked through here, but we took a guess and it was correct. So, oh, now we've got to cross the river again. How about that? Let's see. Just about see the pink flag on the other side. Maybe not from here. Well, I can see it. Well, so much for the trail being easy to find. We were scrambling along the river bank and then we realized that the trail was above us up here. So we had to go steeply uphill to rejoin the trail. And it's 430 if we reach South Fork, it'll probably be by flashlight. <laughs> nice light. Well, this is some trail. Maybe an old mining trail. Way it's way up here. There's the sun setting. Uh, this is the way down there. Come shorty. And the trail's good. Keeps on going. Gradually winding its way down to the river. Hopefully we can make it to Southport before dark. <laughs> it's going to be close. They've done some engineering on this trail. Hopefully it's good all the way to South Fork. Otherwise we'll be going by flashlight. <laughs> it's going to be hard to find them. To get to South Fork before we need to use the flashlights because it's going to be really hard to find the trail. We'd be there already if we hadn't lost it. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a screw up. But what can you do? So, one hour. We have one hour of daylight left. Yeah, if that. And we're on all trail now. so We've got to go that way. 
Oh, I wish you just about make it. Let's hope so. And we've got a couple miles to go. Huh? There's lots of this on the trail. Looks like burst cap to me. Here she comes. Hey, that's no 520. And I'd say we're about two miles from South Fork Station. Oh my, we're just about gonna make it before dark. Our darkness is descending upon us and we're still maybe half an hour from South Fork Station. But we're getting there. We'll make it. Woohoo! We reached the junction. South Fork Station, three quarters of a mile. And not before time, too. <laughs> oh boy. It's quarter to six. Yeah, I'll just make it before dark. Well, we it's a South Fork cabin at ten minutes after six. Uh, we got a uh, fire going and we're enjoying Penang curry. With sultanas. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, oh yeah, it's nice in here. <laughs> this is warmer than our own house. <laughs> yeah. Home sweet home in the wilderness. It's a lot warmer tonight than it was last night. Oh man. It was freezing last night. There's frost on the ground this morning. Yeah. All, all over. But in here it's toasty. It's also frozen. It's but yeah. So nice. It was worth the hike. That was a rough 18 miles. I think it took us 11 hours altogether. <laughs> yeah. Poof. Anyway, now we can enjoy it. Sweet home. Temperature dropped below freezing last night, but we had a fire going in the evening and it was wonderful. So cool to be here. Especially nice after that long day of 18 miles, rough country, crossing, recrossing streams, jumping over boulders, and, and Swaying side to side. Getting feet wet. Yeah, I did get feet wet a little bit. Back in 2003, we were trapped at South Fork Station because it was raining and this stream became a raging torrent. We couldn't cross it. So we just stayed an extra night at South Fork Station cabin. It was wonderful. Yeah, hard to believe this little old stream became impassable. But it was at least twice as wide and you couldn't see any rocks in it and it was churning water and ah, there's no way we were going to cross this thing. But today it's a beautiful oh God, day. It's a beautiful day again. Three days in a row. 
And we haven't seen anybody since noon on day one. Now we're day three. We got out there. It was almost dark when we got to this junction last night. <laughs> Patsy was almost, oh, I gotta get my flashlight out, but we made it without flashlights. Ah. With about five minutes to spur. Whew. Looking down over the Sisquat River Valley. That's the way we came yesterday. What, what, what? The little cross on the ground. Oh yeah, it's great. We're in the sun now though. Oh, oh beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? Oh man. Beautiful day. Oh, it's really nice in here. Yeah, oh, there we get the morning sun. True mash caves. A bit shallow there. A white ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous day. White ledge camp. Got a stove. But no picnic table. And let's see this nice pool. Shows you so oh, we could have a bath. Yeah, who needs a hotel? Oh yeah. Nice little heart shaped pool there. Beautiful. Hurricane Deck Trail. Manzana Schoolhouse, 23 oh, miles. Really? Yeah, uh, well, not going that far though. Oh, we oh. cut off down to Naira. Next time. Next time, yeah, we can try it. Okay, lead on. Onward. So, climbing up onto the hurricane deck. It's too windy yet. <laughs> Here comes Shorty. Mm, yeah, not bad. A little bit scratchy here and there. Oh, this is nice. Nice. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Don't fall off the side. Yeah, a ridge route on Hurricane Deck. The two ridge routes on Hurricane Deck. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. Now there's the Manzana River Canyon down there. The alternate way back to Naira. We thought we'd take the high route. Well, they're both good. Both routes. Hurricane deck's fairly clear. There's Hurricane deck. Yeah, way down there, 3,000 feet below us, is the Sisquak River Valley that we traversed yesterday. Quite the difference being up here on Hurricane Deck. Well, we reached the junction, but it's 12 miles to Naira, which is further than we thought, or hoped anyway. <laughs> well, spectacular views good. from up here. And looking down into the Manzana River Valley, maybe that would have been quicker. <laughs> Ooh, here's the mass bandit. Shorty the shortest. Oh, a nice picnic table in the middle of the wilderness. Underneath a nice oak tree. Very calm. Nine miles. Nine miles. Oh, well, how many more to go? Three miles to go. Well, that's it? That's not bad. Well, it's pretty dry over here. The creek beds are pretty much dry. Finding a few ticks too. 
three so far. Oh, you found three? Oh. One on you and two on me. Oh, yeah. They were on your pants? Yeah. Not embedded. Uh, mm. in the house. Oof. Yeah. Make a run for it. Heading onwards and the yeah, because well, you can see the road up there. You know, that pointy peak there is that Figueroa? Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. I'll have to come back and do a bike ride up there. Ooh, back <laughs> on the Manzana River Trail. Yeah. Gee, we've come 16 miles from South Fork. Probably one more mile to go. Uh, roughly one, oh. I'd say. Yeah. 17 miles. Yeah. It's about 58, no. 48? 48. 48 for the whole trip. Really? Huh. Yeah, and it was rough. <laughs> Especially in the middle. Yeah. Day number two, yesterday. Yeah. Getting too old for this. Oh yeah, well, still alive. Still can make it. <laughs> Yeah, better not. Can't be a better place to kick the bucket. Yeah. Wide open trail. <laughs> yeah, you can tell we're on a much more popular trail now. Still haven't seen anybody. Haven't seen anybody since lunchtime two days ago. Oh, yeah. So it's been over 48 hours. <laughs> Wide open trail. We made it. Out of the wilderness. Such a civilization. <sighs> <laughs> Showers. Okay. So this is what we've done. Shorty, show us. We started in Naira. Ten o'clock in the morning. Parked here. Walked to this parking and started up the trail. Past cold water. Past this to Manzana Schoolhouse and then over this trail and camp, to water. Camp there. Camp there. Got there not long before dark. <laughs> and I don't know what time we set off the next morning. 13 miles or so. Yeah. Started about 7 I think. Past all these. Past Abel. Sycamore, and then jog to the south and stayed at South Fork last night. And then today we started at eight. Oh, did we? And where did we go today then? Today, um, Ridge Root wanted to go to Lonnie Davis, <laughs> <laughs> but I set him straight, and so we went out to White Ledge and then Hurricane Deck Deck Trail over 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 to where it picks up yellow to no, Sulphur never, and yeah. Lost Valley we never really did see Sulphur Spring unless it was that tiny trickle yeah this is Sulphur Canyon we never hit that no. spring but the spring's up there back. the spring's here oh um, Anyway, it was rough. 48 miles, three days. Oh, God. Yeah, big loop. 5,000 feet again, at least. Big loop. Most people do it in four days. <laughs> I don't Hardly anybody does it anyway, but most of the people who do do it, do it in four days. And I think very few do it in three days. It's tough. It's about the limit of what we're capable of doing. Well, luckily, the water was low. And, and there was plenty of it, so we didn't have to carry a lot. Too many times we lost the trail. Yeah. <laughs> but whew, we made it. All right. Celebrate. Yeah.